Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to the to close. Um, the commissioner meeting for January 24th, 2023. Um, now come to order. I have a roll call, please. County Commissioners Best. Here. Duffy. Here. Gallo. Here. James. Here. Lazara. Here. Deputy Director Bartlett. Here. Director Lapore. Here. Can I have the announcement of the open public meeting law? Ladies and gentlemen, the notice requirement of the open public meetings law has been has been satisfied with respect to this meeting, specifying the time, date, and location, including the annual notice, adopted the reorganization meeting, and filed with the county clerk, and posted in the administration building, and mailed to two newspapers in accordance with the provisions of the law. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> Duffy, please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, and one nation, under God, indivisible. Please remain standing for the invocation. O God, who provides for thy people by thy power and rules over them in love, be gracious enough to bless thy servants, our county commissioners in this county of Passaic, that thy people may dwell in peace and safety through our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing to, for a moment of silence to remember all the men and women who have died while serving in the armed force, the United States Armed Forces and those who have died from State County for COVID-19, especially the 2,237 residents of State County. Thank you. I have a motion to approve the minutes of December 27th. 20 I'll make that motion. Motion made by Commissioner Duffy. I'll second it. Second by Com Commissioner James. Roll call. County Commissioners Best? Yes. Duffy? Yes. Gallo? Yes. James? Yes. Lazaro? Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett? Yes. Director Lapore? Yes. Can I have approval of minutes for January 4th, 2023? Make that motion. Motion made by Commissioner Duffy. Second. Second by Commissioner Best. Roll call. County Commissioners Best? Yes. Duffy? Yes. Gallo? Yes. James? Yes. Lazaro? Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Abstain. And actually, I was on autopilot. I need to abstain from the prior vote okay. as well. Okay. Okay. And uh, Director Lapore. Yes. All right. Uh, need a motion to approve the proclamations. So moved. Second. Motion made by T.J. Best. Second. Second by Terry Duffy. Roll call. 
Okay. Any commissioners? Best? Yes. Duffy? Yes. Gallo? Yes. James? Yes. Lazara? Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett? Yes. Director Lepore? Yes. Uh, at this time, I'll turn the festivities over to Commissioner Best. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Director. Uh, and welcome, everyone. We have a, a great crowd out here today. Um, during the month of January, it gives us a time to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, obviously, we, we celebrate Dr. King's day as a day on, not a day off, even though uh, most people don't go to work. The work of Dr. King is being done throughout the community. Um, and today, while we have this meeting, is a chance for us as the county to celebrate and recognize some of those individuals and organizations who do the work of Dr. King on a daily basis. Um, so uh, it, it's with great honor and a privilege that we recognize three uh, individuals and organizations um, today who do that type of work. Um, our first uh, individual that I would like to rep uh, recognize tonight um, is none other than my good friend, mentor, and former coach, uh, Mr. Kemper McDowell. I'm going to ask that you, you stay seated just for a second, Kemper, while let's clap for Kemper. By the way. Uh, everyone knows Kemper throughout the entire city of Patterson, right? Uh, uh, but most people don't know how much work that he does behind the scenes. Um, a lot of times you need to be in elected office or you need to be in front of a pulpit for someone to think that you're a leader. Um, but I'm here to tell you, and I, I think there's a lot of people in this room who know that you don't always need to lead from the front. Sometimes you can lead from behind or in the middle or next to the person who is leading. Um, one of the greatest, uh, I think, characteristics of a leader is building other leaders. Uh, and for me, I know that I would not be where I am today had it not been for Mr. Kemper McDowell taking me under his wings back in 1994. Um, as my track coach and has continued to mentor me um, throughout this entire time. Um, he has served in various capacities throughout our community. He was a member of the Patterson Board of Education where he was the president. Um, he was also um, involved in the Patterson Education Fund, um, Memorial Day Nursery School as a board member, uh, executive committee of the NAACP, uh, executive committee of the Eastside Neighborhood Association, and uh, I think one of the things he's mostly proud of, too, is a member of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, those other guys um, that wear gold with purple, I guess. So um, <laughs> uh, I, I know uh, that Kemper's greatest joy is an accomplishment is the fact that he and his beautiful wife, Audrey, has raised two dynamic young men um, who make Patterson proud each and every day, who in their own right have become leaders as well. And I thought that it was uh, fitting for us today to just take a moment to pause and to recognize someone who doesn't get enough recognition. And that's none other than Mr. Kemper McDowell. I'm going to ask him to come up front. All right. To keep us on time, I won't use this. But, uh, you know, to the uh, first given honor to God, uh, who without none of this would be possible, I'm sure we'd all agree to that, right? Um, also, I'd like to, uh, to the uh, board commissioners, um, um, Director Pat Lepore, uh, to my fellow honorees, and to all assembled here, I greet you. Uh, good evening. Um, I am extremely... Uh, Honored to receive this recognition. Um, I'm humbled that I'm, I share the dais with so um, such hard workers as uh, those you see in front of you who work hard every day to make sure that lives are changed. You know, especially proud to receive it um, during this um, Martin Luther King celebration and, and as we have Black History Month uh, approaching. And as an educator, I always must remind us all that you know Black History and the celebration of Martin Luther King and others. It's not a one-month history lesson. You know, it's a part of U.S. and world history that should be taught all year round, right? All of it. Um, and I, re I remind us to uh, make sure that that happens. Um, you know, black history, to talk a little bit about that, is a, a time where we celebrate, you know, those that have paved the way for us to make life a little easier. There's also a time that we should remember 
how vigilant we should need to be to ensure that those freedoms that we enjoy aren't taken away and aren't diminished. So, um, you know, I kind of chose my life to be, um, um, live it as a bridge builder in one of my favorite poems. And it talks about building bridges so that those that come beyond, um, after you may be able to skip some of those pitfalls that you've encountered. Um, so I encourage you all to build your own bridges where it may be in your homes and your, at your jobs and your little areas you call um, yours, you know, that someone behind you that comes behind you won't have to endure you know, some of the things that you had to endure. It'll be an easier path for them. So as I take my seat, believe it or not, didn't take too long binge, right? Uh, but I want to, of course, thank my, uh, thank my lovely wife, Audrey, who's uh, always by my side. And oftentimes is the, my partner in crime with the things that I do. I'd like to thank my children, Darius and Darrell, who I'm extremely proud of. Um, thank you. You know, because sometimes it's great when your children notice that sometimes you might miss a, a practice, you might miss, might come in a little late and not watch Disney with them, even though I don't allow them to watch Disney. Um, but they understand what dad's doing, and so I appreciate uh, my children also. My fraternity brothers, who I do a lot of what I do uh, via the programs that they institute. Um, they're a great a bunch of guys. Um, I consider them family, and I thank you, right? Um, and it's to TJ, you know, thank you, TJ, for allowing me to be part of your life. Um, you know, TJ, I met him, I think he's like seven years old or so, you know. And, um, you know, he uh, was the same kind of kid, you know. I'm the best. I can run faster than everybody. Put me in, coach, you know. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, he, he's um, probably one of the um, <clears throat> most astute um, elected officials I know. You know, he's an extremely intelligent young man. Um, and I look to uh, him to do greater and greater and greater things. I appreciate um, him being on the board and not only representing um, himself, but re representing, uh, you know, the uh, African-American community, the Patterson community, uh, is because some of those things that we talk about, um, that were fought so that we will have uh, someone like TJ who could one day be in, aspire to um, ascend to such a great panel to represent a people that uh, throughout history you know, have been left behind. So we appreciate it. And I'd like you to join me in giving TJ. Thank you. Did I thank my wife? Yeah. Did I thank my pastor? <laughs> okay. And to Pastor Clayton, who's, uh, who joined me here today, <clears throat> you know. I think I'm going to have to become part of the uh, reclaimed membership uh, because my, my sporadic, uh, you know, visitation at church. But, uh, you know, sometimes you need to have someone who you can refer to their teachings and what they say and how they interpret, you know, what God is saying to you. And I appreciate, you know, his um, mentorship in that regard. So, again, thank you again. Um, again, I'm honored and I'm humbled to be amongst such great people and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm going to uh, also ask that everybody just hang out afterwards. We're going to get a group picture with all of the honorees and we're also going to have a nice birthday cake uh, to celebrate uh, Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, even though my birthday was a couple days ago. But we're going to celebrate... <laughs> Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, so I'm going to ask everybody to join us downstairs uh, for, some, for some cake. Uh, our next honoree um, is uh, a person who I've, uh, as a professional, have looked to as a mentor. Um, and through that mentorship has become a, a friend and part of my family. Um, and even though people celebrate the organization, sometimes we miss out on celebrating the individuals behind those organizations. Um, so uh, our next honoree is none other than my good friend, Mr. Bob Garashi. Put our hands together for Bob. A lot of people know the work of NJCDC and the work that NJCDC does in Passaic County, um, one of our largest nonprofits in the entire county of Passaic, serving tens of thousands of families every single day, um, employing local residents uh, to be part of giving back to the community. 
um, educating students, um, taking care of families and looking out for kids literally from before the time that they were born, right, all the way until they become professionals from from cradle to career, um, as we like to call it. And um, none of that would have been possible had it not been for Mr. Bob Garashi. Um, and a lot of times we celebrate his organization, who's just had a milestone, I think, 25 years, uh, a couple years ago. Uh, and, you know, we did a proclamation for that. But in that proclamation, we didn't talk about how great the founder of the organization was. Uh, and when we look at Dr. King's legacy, when he talked about, you know, having a dream of people working together, right, communities coming together, Bob is literally building that in the city of Patterson and in the county of Pasig. Um, he is letting his actions speak for himself. He is letting the work speak. And he doesn't want to be the one to get recognized and get that recognition. Um, every single year, I think for, for over 10 years now, uh, NJCDC has done a Martin Luther King uh, youth uh, celebration where we honor young people uh, in the city of Patterson and in the county of Pasig or organizations or individuals that serve young people. Uh, and again, that was the idea of Bob Garashi. So please help me uh, celebrate and honor none other than the founder of NJCDC, Mr. Bob Garashi. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> well, thank you, TJ. Thank you, commissioners, for this honor. Uh, TJ's right. I have always said, and I believe, that there is no limit to what a man or a woman can accomplish if he or she doesn't care who gets the credit. And, you know, what I have to say today here in front of you receiving this honor, is that it's really my privilege to do this work in the city of Patterson and in the county of Passaic. It's my privilege to hopefully be having some, making some small difference in the lives of the children and families that we serve. Uh, and um, really it's my privilege to come to work each and every day, motivated to do my work um, motivated by the ideals and the virtues that were espoused by Dr. King. As, as Dr. King said, uh, everyone can be great because everyone can serve. And that is a uh, quote that drives me, that drives my organization. We will continue to, to do as much as we can to make as much of a difference as possible in the lives of as many people as possible. So thank you once again to the commissioners. Thank you to my fellow honorees. And thank you to everyone who believes that Patterson is the greatest city and the Passaic is the greatest county in the state of New Jersey. Thank you. <clears throat> And uh, last but certainly not least um, is an organization that has been serving the community for uh, decades um, and underneath their current and new leadership has taken that organization to even greater heights. Uh, the County of Passaic is fortunate to partner with this organization. And I wanna ask my colleague, uh, Bruce James, to do the presentation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Commissioner Rick James, everybody. By the way, when you preached at Mount Pilgrim and you uh, had nice things to say about my secretary, I was one of the most enjoyable days I ever had. You're not a bully. You're not, you're not that much of a bully. Funny, funny bully. Um, I'm going to read. This was uh, actually written by uh, the, the nonprofit. That, uh, and, and I want to read it. I said to them, I'll probably murder it as I read it. But... Um, it, it sums it up, and then I'm going to have some things to say. What do you point at before, Ernie? <laughs> it 
Uh, so uh, Lorenzo uh, probably wrote this. Uh, you had some, I'm sure you had something to do with it, Wahida. But anyway, it's, it's the new Grandparent Relatives Care Senior Community Resource Center, Inc. has taken the center to new heights, re relocated uh, to the fourth ward and in four locations, expanding the operations above and beyond what the founder had imagined. We are so proud to have a place where the needs are great and our passion to help is fed by God. Our doors, hearts, and minds are open to all the organizations, groups, businesses, and any sole proprietor who wants to contribute to our center. We are humbled to do the work that was bestowed upon us, and we aim to continue the legacy. Grandparent Relatives Care Resource Center, Inc. of Patterson, which is a 501c3, was born out of the real life experiences of Dr. Jesse M. Dixon, known for her dedication to the causes of those who were vulnerable. Ms. Dixon found herself facing a personal family challenge when confronted with the possibility of having to raise her own grandchildren. Dr. Dixon was a successful entrepreneur, a civic leader, a former councilwoman at large for the city of Patterson, who along with her husband liked to travel. However, when forced with the dilemma that today many grandparents face, Dr. Dixon and her husband did not hesitate to take on the role the primary care, caregiver for their five grandchildren. Like other grandparents, Dr. Dixon said, I need help and I had nowhere to go. This experience inspired Dr. Dixon to establish a center where grandparents and kinship givers, caregivers could find the support and help they need to be effective in their parenting roles. Dr. Dixon continued to work tirelessly as a champion, trying to help meet the needs of grandparents and relative caregivers in Passaic and surrounding counties. Since the passing of our founder in 2015, Mr. Lorenzo Carpenter, Executive Director, and Ms. Wahida uh, Mohammed, uh, who none of us know, uh, shared the responsibility in ensuring that the dream and legacy stay alive and to continue the work of Dr. Jesse M. Dixon that she gave her life for. Um, I had the privilege of working with Jesse at the Board of Social Services going back to the 70s. <laughs> and, uh, and, and uh, you know, so I know what kind of woman she was. And her legacy needs to, needs to survive and needs to move on. Uh, funding for things has changed dramatically over the last few years. So where HUD would allow for food, they no longer allow for food. That's housing and urban development. Now it must be housing. Now housing is one of those food, clothing, shelter. You got three necessities. You learn that in grammar school. You know, if you, if you don't have shelter and you don't have food and you don't have something to wear, you, you don't survive. So this is a key part of it. And they're in a great part of town to help. So while, while I'm doing this because I want people to understand that they need help. And I asked her to meet with me within the next week because I think if we look at nonprofits, if we look at churches, some churches have CDCs, not all, but some, right? But they, they have office space, they have building space, they have space in the fourth ward. You're still by Carney's, right? So it's right where it needs to be to help people. And I think if we all get on the same page, you know, listen, task force, passing task force was almost out of business. They were almost out of business. They reinvented themselves, they restructured, and now they are doing housing and they're doing well. The talent that we have at that organization is just equal to what Patterson Task Force is. So my plea is that somebody, besides me, but be somebody, get on, get on helping them and making sure that they survive because what they're doing is important work for everybody in Patterson. The goal is not just to say what a great job you did. The goal is to make sure that that great job continues to be done because the need has not gone away. You still have food deserts. You still have people who don't have coats in the winter. You, don't, you have people who are homeless or a, a paycheck away from being homeless. We can fix much of that, but we need organizations like this to survive. So that's what I think we should do. Uh, I can't think of any way to honor you more and to make sure that a year from now and 10 years from now that that organization is still in those buildings helping people that need the help and hopefully raising people out of poverty because that's what it's all about.
No, so I never, did this. Never. I did. <laughs> I want you to know that I uh, I originally did this in in like a slate with a hammer and a chisel, <laughs> and then I decided that it was hard to read, so I redid it. Anyway, you know I love you, and Wahida, you're always there to yell at us if we don't do the right thing. <laughs> and uh, and I really appreciate all that you've done for everybody that you've done it for, and you're there every day. Right, as we call it, the belly of the beast, trying to defeat the Satan. Uh, you know, you're trying to defeat it. You're trying to give these kids a life. So, I thank you to everybody who, anybody who is taking care of their grandkids. You're saints. You're absolutely saints, and it's tough to do. You know, um, so I appreciate everything that you do. We're going to keep you alive in every way that we can, and we're happy that you came tonight. So I thank you for coming. I really thank do. You, you too. Thank you. you too. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, whoever. Right. Let me grab it, Bruce. Let yeah, sure. Uh, yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank everyone here uh, for participating. Come, come to the back. For participating uh, in this celebration and this honor. And I also want to, before we, I start, I want to uh, congratulate the two freeholders that ran and won. And most importantly, our new... Uh, Corporation Council for the county and our new administer, administrator, which I will be seeing you very soon. Uh, the Grandparents Resource Center was an idea of Jesse Dixon while she was a councilwoman. She started with nothing. She took her old beauty power, emptied it out, and created a center. That's where the first food was delivered to the community. <laughs> Jesse went on to bring in Lorenzo Carpenter and the great, honorable <laughs> Wahida Muhammad. Who has worked every day tirelessly to make things happen in the fourth ward and for anyone that needs food or resources. What's most important, what Bruce just said, and I will be coming to see you too also. Uh, uh, I, I see you smiling over there, uh, Bob Grassi. Uh, the Grandparents Resource Center, I'm going to put it to you plain and simple. They need assistance. The thousands of people that we feed monthly, the, the hundreds of people that we refer to other services, the kids, the grandparents that we service is all done with the love of these people. We are here to celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday. But, you know, I remember as a kid growing up, and I remember when Martin Luther King came to Patterson, Bethel Amy Zion Church on Governor Auburn. His whole dream was for us to work together in unison to build a community and society worth living in. I need us to do this every day because groups like the grandparents that don't have the funds that other groups have and still make it happen. We even do pampers and milk for, for newborns. We serve mothers and fathers that can't find places to live. When we say resource center, we mean resource center. I am proud and happy to say that I have been their president for several years, and we have made it through the weeds and the storms. Every year, every week, every month, on time, and we're still here. I'm going to turn this over for a quick note from our director and a guy that works so hard sometime. <laughs> I have to take a couple dollars out of my pocket to give it to him. Okay, so come on, Lorenzo Carbon. <laughs> oh, boy. First of all, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, I was taught to love the Lord all my life, and I don't stray away from him. Um, coming to see Dr. Dixon, meeting her for the first time, was an amazing woman. First of all, thanks to commissioners. Thank you, director. Thank you, guys, TJ, everybody. Thank you, all my constituents, all the honorees. 
um, Dr. Dixon, when she was alive, her vision was going. Tirelessly, she would get up every single day, come down to the center, trying to feel herself away, trying to make sure she's going where she's going. And it was very hard to see. But then we begin to understand a person that didn't have vision, had a vision all along. Mm -hmm. She saw something that we didn't see. And it took her to pass on, to give us the ball, for us to understand what her vision was. I just wish today that everybody can see what we see. Everybody can understand what we do and why we do it. There's no big money behind us. There's no big corporations. There's no thousands of dollars. Sometimes we go months and months without seeing a thing. But one thing about my God, he makes a way out of no way. We always find somebody to help us out, living day by day. We can't say check by check because we don't get a check by check. But we make it and we do it. Please, everybody, just understand and come see what we do. We right there on Rosa Parks Boulevard and Hamilton Avenue. Rain, sleet, snow. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We was in the rain Monday, soaking wet with these grandparents, the workers, the staff. Our job is tirelessly. Our job is continuously. Our job is not just a job, it's our life. And we want to keep living and doing the work of Dr. Jesse M. Dixon. And we thank you guys for this honor. We are pleased. Thank you, Ms. Wahida. Please. No. You know you have to thank that word. Uh, we, we have a rule that Sister Wahida Muhammad has to wait for her three minutes during the public portion. <laughs> Keep the clock on. In God's name, I love you too, TJ, and we will talk. <laughs> I just want to say to, to, to all of you, thank you, commissioners, for this honor. Uh, as you see, these people that are standing here with us, they stand with us through thick and thin. And as Lorenzo said, no matter what it is, that we asked them to do, because they too were there when Jessie was doing what she was doing. And I don't know how I let her talk me into coming. <laughs> but I tell you, she was a persuasive woman. Yes, and I was. promised her that as soon as I finished, and I should not have told her, oh, dear Ames, when I retired. Because the minute you did, I did that, they had something else for me to do. <laughs> And I just said, Lord, whatever it is that you see that I can do to help, then let me do that. So I just thank all these people that keep holding us up. I thank those of you that when we call you for that money, you come up, you come around, Assemblyman. Yeah, we yeah. will call we'll you tomorrow. Talk about you. <laughs> about you. We, we're going to call you later. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Audrey, I thank you when you allow Kemper to go in that pocket and bring that money to us. We really appreciate all of you that know that you contribute to us and send donations and send people. But we are there to do whatever it is that we can do. And God says, be and it is. We will continue to do that. So I just thank you again. And TJ, I don't know what I'm going to do when I look back there and don't see you. But I tell you, it has been a blessing to have you there yes. Yes. as the horn blower for us. That's right. Yes. You better know. You better know. Uh, Bruce, Bruce, I'm going to buy this tape because you said that you're going to be there. So I'm going to make sure that whatever it is that we need, we play that for you so that you will know that, yes, we are going to stay true to what the word was today. And we thank you all and God bless. All right, so uh, we do have a, a couple of distinguished guests with us, but I'll be remiss if I didn't uh, recognize and give an opportunity for our an assemblyman from the 35th Legislative District, Assemblyman Wimberley. Would you like to say a couple words? Or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. three minutes? <laughs> three minutes. I, you won't. You won't even get thirty. But it's uh, to the commissioners. Uh, this is a distinct honor, uh, Commissioner Bess. Uh, like you said, we've watched you grow up. 
And it's truly an honor for you to honor such a distinguished group of people from Kemper, who is an unsung hero, because Kemper will do anything for anybody at any time. And Audrey, thank you for lending me Kemper. I appreciate him. Like one o'clock in the morning, we got to go hang up some signs. Kemper's there. We need money. Kemper's there. He's just unbelievable. Bob, you have been unbelievable. And to the grandparents, um, I'm sitting there smiling because, as you know, me and Dr. Dixon were neighbors as I grew up. And I was the last person on 17th Ave. She gave me the keys and we try to establish, you know, things for the community. So great job, commissioners. TJ, love you much. All right, everyone. So uh, that, that wraps it up for us. We want to thank you. We do have a meeting to, to run, but I'm going to ask for the honorees to just take a picture with uh, the commissioners. And we have cake downstairs for everyone uh, to celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday. So, all right, let's uh, have the honorees up front. We'll take a group picture and then we'll get on with our meeting. Bob, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's get the honorees behind the podium yeah, right there. There you go, Bobby, right in the middle of the podium. Come on, Bob. And they will. Where are you, Marty? Right here? Okay. Let's hold these up. Come on, Ken. Come on, Got everybody? Wait, 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 wait. We got everybody here. <laughs> come on in. If you want to come in the front here or that on that side. Well, it's still a little short, yeah. Come on, right here, ladies, right here. Right here. Come on, right here. Come on. There you go. You hold it. Yeah, that's a picture. Hey. There you go. <laughs> Thank you guys. Take it downstairs. <laughs> Oh, is that right? Thank you, Thank you, everybody, but don't want to miss saying hi to you. How you doing, Dick? I'm good, man. Thank you. How are you? 24. Yeah. <laughs> All right. When? We'll go have cake. <laughs> what are you doing for? I turn the floor over to you, Mr. Director. Okay, hey folks, if I can have your attention a second, um, Ms. Mohammed, um, I don't know if you remember last summer, uh, you had an event up at the uh, East Side Park in the pouring rain, and uh, there were some issues that you brought to my attention. And I said to you, make sure you check with me before you have your event again to make sure that all those issues are resolved. All right? So we'll take care of business. Just remind me, give me a little time, a little lead time, and we'll take care of that. Um, also, my good friend Chris Irving, I haven't seen you in a while, but uh, I was cleaning out. 
my design. <laughs> my good friend, Chris Irving. The, um, I was cleaning out my office uh, to uh, switch uh, into the director's office, and as I was going through some boxes that I haven't touched in a while, try to purge them and clean out my office. Lisa threatened me uh, if I didn't clean out my office, she would throw them out. Um, I came across something that you gave me uh, roughly about, I'd say, 17, 18 years ago. And it's a Barack Obama for Senate button. You can't have it back. But I just want you to know that I still have it. It's in, it's in a good place. It's in a good place. All right, folks. Uh, director, just Mr. Gervins was, uh, he was supposed to be recognized tonight on his retirement on the planning board. He's dealing with a family matter. Right. Okay. Bring him to another meeting. Yes, we will. Recognize his service. Uh, also, uh, and uh, the administrator just brought to my attention that we were supposed to honor um, Mr. Gervins tonight, uh, but he had a uh, family emergency, so we will honor him at another time. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go out of, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, take your pictures. I'm going to go out of order here. Um, normally we go commissioner reports, um, but I know we have an executive session tonight. So anyone, I'm going to switch over to the public portion of the meeting. Um, I'll take a motion to open the public portion. I make that motion. I'll second it. Motion made by Commissioner Duffy, second by Commissioner Hello. James. Roll call. County Commissioners Best? Yes. Duffy? Yes. Gallo? Yes. James? Yes. Lazara? Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett? Yes. Director Four? Yes. Anyone from the public wishing to be heard, please step forward. State your name and address. Uh, mindful that you have three minutes. There's little lights up there. That when you see the red light go on. That means your time is uh, coming to an end. And also to remind you that... Uh, this is a public meeting. Anything that you say is a matter of public record. So, anyone from the public wishes? Seeing it, no one at the podium, I move to close the public portion. Second. I have a motion to close the public portion. I have a is there a problem, Director? Roll call. No. Uh, <laughs> County Commissioners Best? Yes. Duffy? Yes. Gallo? Yes. James? Yes. Lazare? Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett? Yes. Director Lapore? Yes. Um, at this time, um, I understand, uh, Commissioner Bartlett, you have a report? Wow. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm still getting used to the new order here. Yeah. Not, being, I, not voting for... I like to keep everybody guessing here. <laughs> okay, then. It's going to be a good year. Uh, well, speaking of guessing, you said you found something in a box. I was afraid. Are we getting another announcement about confidential documents? <laughs> it was a confidential button. Thankfully, no. Um, I just wanted very briefly uh, to let folks know that Passaic County's uh, investment in supporting uh, cannabis businesses in the county is continuing. Uh, in December, we worked with uh, a law firm to do an expungement fair for folks with uh, drug records with the opportunity to work in the, um, in the uh, emerging cannabis industry. Uh, if they could get those expunged. We did that expungement fair in December. Uh, last week, we hosted at the community college a job fair with some of our local can of businesses that are either already in operation or getting ready to operate. We had more than 150 people come out to find out about jobs in that industry. Uh, at that uh, event, uh, our community college president, Dr. Stephen Rose, announced a course on skills for can of business uh, employees that's going to be launching at the community college in April. So we are trying to support those businesses as they emerge, and that's going to be a continuing process. I just wanted to thank everybody who was involved, Deborah Hoffman from Economic Development and our team at the Community College for making all that happen. Okay. Um, from Public Works, from public works uh, I just want to acknowledge um, um, Ms. Kelly. Um, we have a number of resolutions out here asking for grant money uh, to uh, um, upgrade our our areas, our, our historic areas, our recreational areas. I just want to acknowledge the fact that you do a lot of work to get grant money into the county uh, for the benefit of all the residents of the state county, um, especially um, the one involving um, 
Jake's, or is it? Jake's Playground, I'm sorry. And uh, also um, on the agenda, there's a resolution um, for a public hearing on February 14th, uh, seeking co comments uh, to the county potential grant application for Jake's Law, uh, Jake's Law Playground funding grant. Uh, so that's on the 14th. So anybody wants to comment on that, feel free. It would be there. Um, and that's all I have. Uh, I understand we have executive session. Yes, Director, through you, we do have a few late starters. But before I introduce those, we have a matter to discuss in executive session. Okay, very good. I'll take a motion to go into executive session. Move it. Second. Moved by Commissioner James, second by Commissioner Duffy. Roll call. County Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. Yes. James. Lazar. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Director Lepore. Yes. Um, we'll be out as soon as executive session.
County Commissioners. County Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Here. Gallo. Yes. James. Yes. Rosera. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Director Lapore. Yes. Um, County Council, we have late starters. Yes, Director. Through you, we have three late, two, three late starters. Three. Uh, the first one is M46, resolution authorizing the Fifth Amendment to purchase and sale agreement for the real property located at 467-517 River Street in Patterson by and between the County of Passaic and Bascom Corporation pursuant to NJSA 48-12-4. The second one is M47, resolution authorizing an award of contract to Sparwick contracting and for emergency on-call bridge repairs to the Greenwood Lake Turnpike Culvert in the Township of West Milford, pursuant to NJSA 48-11, colon 11-1. And the last one is M48, and that's an amendment to a prior resolution. It's a resolution amending resolution number R22-1256, amending an award of contract to Blake Acevedo doing business as Interstate Hay for the Passaic County Sheriff's Mounted Unit, pursuant to NJSA 48-11-1. I would just ask, Director, that these three resolutions, M46 through 48, be added to the consent agenda. Okay, I'll take a motion to add M46, M47, M48. I'll move it. I'll, I'll second. Moved by Commissioner Lazara, second by Commissioner James. Roll call to add. County. County Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. Yes. James. Yes. Lazara. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Director Lapore. Yes. Uh, I would also take uh, this time to uh, ask any of the commissioners, if anybody wants to vote on any one of the resolutions separately, please let us know now. Yes, Director. Uh, M10, please. M10. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I catch. Got it. Okay. I'll take a motion uh, to for resolutions M1 to M9 and M11 to M48. So be it. Second. second. Motion made by Commissioner Duffy, second by Commissioner Best. Roll call. County Commissioners Duff, um, I'm sorry, County Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. Yes. James. Yes. Lazara. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Director Lapore. Yes. I'll take a motion on M10. So moved. Second. Second. Moved by Commissioner Best. Second by Commissioner Bartlett. Roll call. County Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. No. James. Yes. Lazara? Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett? Yes. Director James? Yes. Okay. okay. Next we have uh, under new business, item one, bond ordinance number 2023-01. Need a motion? Can I? Can oh, I sorry. Can I record, uh, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, and also for the record, Director, uh, we are in receipt of the supplemental death statement from the CFO. Uh, bond ordinance number 2023-01. Uh, bond ordinance providing for various capital improvements by the County of Passaic, appropriating the aggregate amount of 10,500,000 there for and authorizing the issuance of 9,975,000 bonds or notes of the county to finance the part of the cost thereof. Okay, I need a motion for bond ordinance 2023-01. Move it. Second. Second. Moved by Commissioner James, second by Commissioner Bartlett. Any discussion? Roll call. County Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. Yes. James. Yes. Lazara. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Direct Director Lapore. Yes. Item number two, bond ordinance number 2023-02. Bond ordinance providing for various capital improvements for the Passaic County Community College in and by the County of Passaic, 
appropriating the aggregate amount of $3,865,000, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of $3,865,000 bonds or notes of the county entitled to the benefits of Chapter 12 of the County College Bond Act to finance the costs thereof. Okay, I need a motion to approve Bond Ordinance 2023 02 on first reading. I'll move that. Moved by Commissioner Duffy. Second. Second. Second by Commissioner Bartlett. Roll call. County Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. Abstain. James. Yes. Lazara. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Director Lapore. Yes. Next item is uh, bond ordinance uh, number 2023-03. Bond ordinance providing for the various Passaic County capital improvements for County of Passaic, appropriating the aggregate amount of $4,188,389, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of $4,188,389, bonds or notes of the county to finance part of the cost thereof. I need a motion to approve bond ordinance 2023-03 on first reading. Move it. Moved by Commissioner Lazara. Second. Second by Commissioner Bartlett. Any discussion? Roll call. County Commissioner is Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. Abstain. James. Yes. Lazara. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Director Lapore. Yes. Next item on the agenda is bond ordinance 2023-04. Uh, bond ordinance providing for the pur uh, purchase of property located at 30, um, sorry, 335 Union uh, Avenue, Bloomingdale, New Jersey, appropriating the aggregate amount of $5 million, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 2500000 bonds or notes of the uh, county to finance part of the cost thereof. Need a motion to approve bond ordinance 2023-04 on first reading. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Duffy, second by Commissioner Lazara. Any discussion? Roll call. Uh, county Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. Yes. James. Yes. Lazara. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Director Lapore. Yes, I need a motion on the personnel agenda. Personnel agenda. Moved Second. by Commissioner James. Mm -hmm. yep. Second by Commissioner Lazara. Any discussion? Roll call. County Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. Yes. James. Yes. Lazara. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Director Lapore. Yes. Need a motion on the bills? Move the bills list. Moved Second. by Commissioner James. Second by Commissioner Lazara. Any discussion? Roll call. County Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. Yes. James. Yes. Lazara. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Director Lapore. Yes. Uh, need a motion to adjourn. Make that motion. Motion made by Commissioner Duffy. Second. Second by Commissioner Bartlett. Sure. <laughs> Roll call. We're all going to second that one. <laughs> Roll call. Uh, County Commissioners Best. Yes. Duffy. Yes. Gallo. Yes. James. Yes. Lazara. Yes. Deputy Director Bartlett. Yes. Director Lapore. Yes. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> Funny as hell. Oh, we